If I asked you to think of a game where you play a taxi driver driving around doing crazy things, chances are you'd think of Sega's Crazy Taxi. Or if you're really awesome and maybe a bit more sadistic, you might think back to the cult classic Quarantine. And while those are awesome, we're here to take a look at one of the ultimate progenitors of the genre. It's Space Taxi, developed by John F. Kutcher and published by Muse Software in 1984 for the Commodore 64. It may not have crazy in the title, but you can tell there's some craziness within just by looking at this box art. That cab driver's going so buck wild that his passenger is trying to perform a Vulcan mind meld on him. Move along to the back side of the box and you'll see that you used to be the hottest pilot in the galactic fleet. But now you make your living zipping through the crazy taxi, hey, 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 or something like that. Sorry, got carried away. Inside this lovely white Muse software box, you get a lovely black five and a quarter inch floppy disk, as well as a lovely paper manual filled with lovely printed English words and sentences. Man isn't reading great. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high and all that. Space Taxi begins with a taxi in space. Loading screen space, which as you may be aware is the most bromidic space of all. You then get a simple menu screen letting you see the high scores, read the instructions, or start the game. The instructions instruct you on the instructionally instructionary construction of controls, goals, and hairy moles. Maybe not that last one, but it rhymed. You can also just start the game up because it's ridiculously straightforward, and then choose how many people will take turns playing, as well as the difficulty level. The 24 levels are divided among three difficulties, though if you want to play them all sequentially or at random, you are given those options as well, because John Kutcher was just a stand-up guy like that. Make your choice, and you then see your space taxi hurtling through space as a taxi on the way to the upcoming space taxi level, which for some reason is filled with giant candy. Either that or you're just a tiny taxi. I don't know, maybe this is Texas space and everything else is just bigger there. Whatever it is, you're hailed by a little dude at the bottom of the screen who actually audibly calls out to you. Yeah, this game has digitized speech, which is pretty freaking crazy for a game from 1984 on the Commodore 64. Okay, I mean, it kind of sounds like he's been put through a meat grinder, but it's still impressive. Anyway, once you grab this guy, you'll need to deliver him to wherever he tells you to, which could be either another platform on your screen or another level entirely. Your only controls are up, down, left, and right, and the joystick button which toggles your landing gear on and off. Seeing as your taxi is presumably made of explosive aluminum foil and this takes place in a low gravity environment, or sometimes something even more exotic, you'll need to be very careful while flying around. One bump against anything will destroy you, as will landing too hard, landing without your gear down, landing on a surface that isn't totally flat, and yes, you can even murder potential customers if you run into them. So as you can see, it really does play like Lunar Lander or any number of other similar arcade games. However, the difference here is that you're a taxi driver and you have to pick up and deliver those that hire you. You'll get $5 for delivering passengers to pads on the same screen and 10 bucks for delivering them to the next level. You also have a timer to worry about, though it actually works as a tip system, so the faster you get your space people where they need to go in space, the more you're paid in space bucks. Also along the bottom of the screen between the landing speed and takeoff indicators, you'll notice that you have a limited amount of fuel. So yeah, all that maneuvering around takes up fuel, so you'll need to make sure you don't run out, because if you do, you're dead. There are filling stations on certain levels, but not only do you have to pay for it, it means less time shuttling impatient people around, which means less money for you. And lastly, you'll have all manner of freaking weird obstacles and deadly items in your way trying to screw you up because wherever this is freaking based freaking hates space taxis and I don't know why. Either that or the people that need to be delivered just live in the most thoroughly screwed up place imaginable. You've got electric death rays, giant magnets, black holes, falling stars, radio masts that mess with your controls, and even a giant game of ping pong being played by unknown giant galactic table tennis players. I don't get it, and you don't either, so don't even try. The fact of the matter is that this game is brutally unforgiving before long and goes completely off the deep end with bizarre stuff trying to kill you at every turn. And you only get an extra life every $300, so you're basically screwed until you get really good. But honestly, that's what a classic arcade game should be, so I don't fault the game for that at all. Does it limit my enjoyment of it? Sure does. But then again, that's just par for the course when it comes to 80s arcade games, even if they weren't meant for the arcade. 
I quite like Space Taxi, even though I suck at it and have to cheat to see most of the levels. It's a quirky arcade game that keeps things interesting by changing up the gameplay like every other level, and it's an incredibly rare and hard to find game, so as a collector, I'm doubly happy to own it. Chances are you won't be able to find an original copy, especially boxed, but if you want to try it out, you can just download the free remake of the game from 2004, linked to in the video description. Though it only has the first eight levels, so you may be stuck hunting down a slightly shady D64 file for your emulator of choice, but whatever. Space Taxi is good stuff, and if you like anything you see here, give it a look, because it's a game that I just inserted into your brain via this review, and I command you to be intrigued. Looking for other games for me to command you to be intrigued by? Click on some of these that I find to be particularly radical. Or just click subscribe whatever to subscribe or whatever, because whatever man subscriptions and junk, it'll send you future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.